Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bemi. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back and tuning into my channel. So today's makeup look is more of like a girly slash, I don't know what to call this, but I just really wanted something pink. And that's what we've gone for today. So if you guys want to see how I got this whole makeup look, I love it. If you want to see how I got this whole makeup look, then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below, okay? Because it seems like you guys like to come and watch my videos when you're not subscribing. What's up? What's up? Okay? Say so come, subscribe, it's free, okay? So yeah, guys, please don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay, so as you can see, I've done my eyebrows. I've primed my eyelid. And I've done this eye off camera as well. I've also primed my skin, as you guys can see. So I'm just going to get straight into it. When it comes to my eyes, my eyes are very simple, but quite bold. But, you know. So um, today I'm going to be using the ABH Norvina Eyeshadow Palette. I think this is the Volume 1. Yes, it is. And I'm going to be using this palette as well. So I'm going to be using those two palettes together. So for transition, I'm going to go into the C4 um, Eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna apply this as my transition shade. Girl, your body nice and your hips don't yeah. um, so once that's done, I'm gonna go into Palm from this eyeshadow palette, which is this shade right here. And I'm just gonna blend that into my crease, but blend it in blend it into that transition shade as well, if that makes any sense. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a5 from this eyeshadow palette which is this shade right here it's like a hot pink shade and i'm gonna put this all over my lid so it's just a three-step um eyeshadow look literally i'm gonna go back in and just blend around i'm gonna apply my eyeliner but it's a very thin line so i'm not doing a wing line or anything like that but i'm doing like a very i'm just lining my eyes but very thin so now I'm just going to line my waterline and the trick to doing that, when you're doing this eye, you want to look that way and when you're doing this eye, you want to look that way. So that's the trick basically. I'm going to pop some mascara on and go put my lashes on and then I'll be back. Just a very thin coat of mascara just to blend my um, natural lash and my false lashes together basically. You want to Okay, so guys, like this is the new thing that I've been doing. So, and it literally makes your under eye look super flawless. The first thing I do is I go in with this MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NC45, I think. And as you guys can see, it's definitely a lot lighter than me, but it's good because I like my under eye bright anyway, so it kind of works out. So I use this to set my um, concealer off first. Then I go into my, then I go in with my setting powder. And guys, it just, listen, that's exactly what I did in my last um, makeup video. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it up here. But that is exactly what I did. And guys, it just made my made my makeup look so flawless, like honestly. So I think this is definitely going to be the new thing that I'm going to be doing because it just makes too much sense.
Okay, so as you guys can see, this is now the finished look. I'm done sorting out my hair. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think of this makeup look. I feel like this whole look together is just sweet. Like this is this is nice. Like I really like how my face is looking right now. I'm gonna make sure to leave all the products that I've used today down below. So please make sure you check the description box for anything you, you would like to know. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.